Hello guys, this is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. For today's topic, we will be discussing all about conditional probability. These are the following objectives we need to attain for today's topic. Letter A, identify conditional probability. Letter B, solve problems on conditional probability. And letter C, appreciate conditional probability in solving real-life problems. In word problems, when we see conditional probabilities, it can usually be recognized by words like given, if, or among. There are, however, no hard rules, and you have to read the problem carefully, and you have to pay attention to the entire context of the problem for you to be able to determine whether the given probability represents an ordinary probability or whether the given probability or problem represents a conditional probability. To solve for a conditional probability, this is the formula that we will be using. For any two events A and B with probability of B greater than zero, the conditional probability of A given that B has occurred is defined by probability of A given that B has already occurred is equal to the probability of A intersection B all over the probability of B. Let's have our first example. An octahedral die, a die with 8 pieces, numbered 1 to 8 is toss. What is the probability that the number turns up to be add given that it is less than 5? Let's identify first the given. Event outcome of A, which is getting an odd number, is equal to the numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7. And the number of event outcomes for event A is equal to 4. There are 4 odd numbers in an octahedral die. And then... For event outcomes of B, the numbers which is less than 5, so these are the numbers 4, 3, 2, and 1. So event outcome of B is equal to 4. There are 4 numbers on an octahedral die which is less than 5. And then we will be looking for the intersection of A and B because this is an example of conditional probability. And to look for A intersection B, we will just look at event A and event B, which of the numbers occurred on both events. And those numbers are 1 and 3. So we have the intersection of A and B is 1 and 3. Therefore, the event outcomes of A intersection B is equal to 2. After we have identified the given, we will be using the formula of conditional probability. Probability of A such that B has already occurred is equal to the probability of A intersection B all over the probability of B. And then we will be substituting the corresponding value. So probability of A intersection B. So event outcomes of A intersection B is equal to 2, this one. Then over the total number of sample space, we all know that an octahedral die has 8 faces. Therefore, there are 8 numbers. So this is equal to 2 over 8. And then computing for the probability of B, so we have event outcomes of B is equal to 4. And then over the total number of sample space, which is again equal to 8 because it is an octahedral die. 
So we have 4 over 8. And then after that, we will be simplifying this one lowest term. 2 over 8 is equal to 1 fourth. And then 4 over 8 is equal to 1 half. And then dividing these two numbers, 1 fourth divided by 1 half is equal to 1 half. Therefore, the probability that the number turns up to be add, given that it is less than 5, is equal to 1 half. Let's have our next example. A mathematics teacher gave her class two tests. 25% of the class pass both tests. And 42% of the class pass the first test. What percent of those who pass the first test also pass the second test? This problem involves conditional probability since it asks for the probability that the second test was passed given that the first test was already passed. And with that, let's identify first the following given. In this problem, the probability of A, the first test, is equal to 42%. So meaning to say the probability is already given, which is equal to 42%. And then for the probability of A intersection B, the percentage of the class who pass the first test and the second test is equal to 25%. And we are looking for the probability of B, the second test, such that A, the first test, has already occurred. We will be using the formula of conditional probability. Probability of B, given that A has already occurred, is equal to the probability of A intersection B all over the probability of A. And this time, all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value. Bring down probability of B such that A has already occurred or given equals the probability of A intersection B is equal to 25%. So we have 0 0.25. We will be converting it in decimal form and that is 0 0.25. And then for the probability of A, we have 42%. And when we convert it in decimal form, that is 0 0.42. Dividing these two numbers, 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.42 is equal to 0 0.5952. And then after that, we will be converting this in percentage form. So by multiplying it by 100%, we have 0 0.5952 times 100% is equal to 59.52%. The probability of students who will pass the first test and also pass the second test is equal to 59.52%. Let's have our next problem. A jar contains black and white marbles. Two marbles are chosen without replacement. The probability of selecting a black marble and then a white marble is 0 0.34. And the probability of selecting a black marble on the first row is 0 0.47. What is the probability of selecting a white marble on the second row given that the first marble drawn was black? So again, this is an example of conditional probability. Let's identify first the given, the probability of A, which is getting a black marble, was already given, and that is equal to 0 0.47. The probability of picking a black marble on the first draw is equal to 0 0.47. And then, we are looking for the probability of B, given that A has already occurred. And then after that, the probability of A intersection B is already given, which is equal to 0 0.34. The probability of selecting a black marble 
and then a white marble. And then we will be using the formula for conditional probability. Probability of B such that A has already occurred is equal to the probability of A intersection B all over the probability of A. And then after this, all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value because the probability is already given on the problem. Substituting this value, so we have the probability of A intersection B is equal to 0 0.34. And then after that, the probability of A is equal to 0 0.47. And dividing these two numbers, 0 0.34 divided by 0 0.47 is equal to 0 0.7234 and then we will be multiplying it by 100 percent and the probability of selecting a white marble on the second draw given that the first marble drawn was black is equal to 72.34 percent let's have our next example a box contains three white marbles and four black marbles. What is the probability of picking two black marbles and one white marble in succession without replacement? So again, this is an example of conditional probability. So let's have our solution for this one. And the probability of A, probability of picking the first black marble is equal to the number of event outcomes. So we have four black marbles, so this is four, all over the total number of sample space. And the total number of sample space is the sum of all the marbles inside the box. So we have three plus four is equal to seven. So the probability of picking the first black marble is equal to four over seven. And on the second row, the probability of picking the second black marble, so we have the probability of B such that A has already occurred or already given, will be now equal to the event outcomes of the black marble. So the number of black marbles inside the box is equal to 3. So from 4 black marbles, it becomes 3. Because on your first draw, you already pick a black marble. It is already on your hand. So the number of black marbles for your second draw will become 3. And then after that, the total number of sample space is equal to 6. So from 7 marbles, it will be less than 1. And that is 6. So 3 divided by 6, lowest term, is equal to 1 half. So the probability of picking a black marble on your second draw is equal to one half. And then after that, on the third draw, the probability of picking a white marble, because you need to pick two black marbles and then after that, one white marble. So for your third draw, you need to pick a white marble. So in this case, uh, the number of white marbles inside the box is equal to 3. So there are still 3 white marbles inside the box. After that, the total number of sample space will now be equal to 5 because there are 7 black marbles on the first row. On your second row, it will become 6 marbles. And then on your third row, it will become 5 marbles. So the probability of picking a white marble on your third row is equal to 3 over 5. After that, we need to multiply these three probabilities to get the conditional probability. So we have 4 over 7 times 1 half times 3 over 5. 4 times 1 times 3 is equal to 12. 7 times 2 is equal to 14 times 5 is equal to 70. And then lowest term, 12 over 70 is equal to 6 over 35. Therefore, the probability of picking two black marbles and one white marble in succession without replacement is equal to 6 over 35. Let's have our last example. The probability that it is Friday 
and that a student is absent is 0 0.03. Since there are five school days in a week, the probability that it is Friday is 0 0.2. What is the probability that a student is absent given that today is Friday? We will be identifying the given. So the probability of A, the probability that it is Friday is equal to 0 0.2. And then after that, we will be looking for the probability of B such that a is already given. And for the probability of A intersection B, the probability that it is Friday and that a student is absent is equal to 0 0.03. After that, we will be using the formula of conditional probability. Probability of B such that A is already given is equal to the probability of A intersection B all over the probability of A. Then we will be substituting the corresponding value, the probability of A intersection B, the probability that it is Friday and that a student is absent is 0 0.03, all over the probability of A is equal to 0 0.2. And then dividing these two numbers, 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.15. And if you want to get the percentage, we will multiply it by 100%. 0 0.15 times 100% is equal to 15%. Therefore, the probability that a student is absent given that today is Friday is equal to 15%.